what's up guys just gaming here back again so today we're gonna talk about some few related items not talking about tech today because today i don't feel like talking about tech because i got nothing to talk about honestly speaking uh, i've been i've been kind of in a lot of sticky situation been busy we're going to work coming back grinding on rainbow six siege i was and also still hoping that like, i'm gonna get some funds for my for my next project for the gtx 1050 however today we're gonna talk something a little bit more different from whatever i usually talk about from the six siege tech tech advice and whatnot first of all i'm gonna give a shout out to the nairobi otaku shop in a uh, yeah the nairobi the nairobi otaku shop uh over last month there's a time i showed you there's a website they have whereby they showcase uh, different uh, japanese collection where uh, earrings uh, rings makes like this they believe they want naruto lift uh, naruto headbands uh yes about this i got it yesterday i had i had bought it like uh, over last month uh, it, it, it arrived to me at my place around yesterday evening so i gotta give them a shout out thanks i really love the the, the headband i know it's on my head but i feel so awkward being my head so it's gonna stick on my neck ish for the time being so that's it if you think you're gonna promote them and support our local shop which are trying to bring this kind of uh, trinkets from abroad to Kenya at a cheap at a cheaper price, you should definitely go and look 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 at them. They are called Nairobi Otaku Shop. I'll keep their link on the on my description and go check them out. They have lots and lots of various things that you can buy. Even I'm planning to buy something more if I like if I get the money like a hood or something. But at the moment I'm, I wanna buy a kimono. I want like actually being shown a shirt, a new kimono. For my next uh, cosplay, I am not. Okay, I'm, I'm not planning go, going to cosplay, but I, I uh, but I won't mind to try and to wear some. So yeah. So apart from apart from Naruto shenanigans and and buying from the Nairobi Otaku shop, so we're gonna talk about a little bit about uh, things called uh, people. Yes. So over over the week, or let, let's say on Friday, uh, I got conned by some lady. I okay, I've already said her name in my Facebook. Also, I've reported her into the the site I was in, and I think you guys have heard about Tinder and Badu and some other weird dating sites. So I'm usually just poking around and trying to look, uh, look and find new people to, uh, to socialize with. So over uh, over on Friday, this this lady called okay, I'm not gonna say her name, but this lady uh, we started having uh, some conversation with her over the Tinder app. So she was like, hey, hey, you know, to join, hey, let's talk of your. Then I told her like, okay. I'm not usually active on Tinder. Can we talk of via WhatsApp? So I gave her my number blindly. I, I didn't know at first she was a con woman or a con girl. She looks sincere and all. So I just started talking. We're well, in the middle of talking uh, around midweek. Uh, I told her, like, we are talking, and I told her, like, oh, you know what? You sound really honest and really nice chick. Can, can we, like, just, like, meet up in Nairobi? So, cause she told me she is in Chuka in, in in Meru. So I told her I can't go. I can't come to Meru, cause I cannot afford to come and come and to go and to come and go back. So I told her like, if I can manage to have some money, I can lend you. And at first, she she was actually proposing that she can. So I didn't. I didn't. I was I was just following along or tagging along to the conversation. To see which, where it where, where it will lead. So uh, on the on the conversation was going on, something told me like you should not trust this person so much. You just send money by blindly. So I was like, okay. Uh, my friends are telling me like, okay, you can try or not try. So I was like, you know what? This is gonna be a life lesson. If if it comes through, yes. If it comes back, then 
too bad for me and too, too good and then good good for her. So things went in, things went uh, there and here. I I finally somehow to get the money and I sent that. It was like five hundred bob. I gave I sent her via investor. Then I told her like you can come. I'm at my place, so we can chill out and talk. You know something. Then around Friday evening, when I really sent her the money around in the afternoon, I was expecting like uh, she tell me a progress. So, so I, she was like leading me on, telling me she's on the matatu, she's coming. Then all of a sudden, uh, she was she goes to Tanja. So I was like, okay, I'm being conned. I'm, li- I'm like I'm being really literally being conned. So I decided to call her. When I called her, she wasn't picking up and she was in Tanja. On the what's on my on the on the WhatsApp, I didn't see a picture, so I just knew that she had already blocked me. So I decided to call to talk to my friend who was around with me at the, at the time we were talking about this chick. I uh, decided to go to to play her and text her on WhatsApp. I can't talk much about what really happened in the in the long run. She knew that the, the guy I was talking to was a friend of mine and we busted her. So guys, I'm gonna tell you about uh, a piece of advice. Do not go into deep with these dating sites. Some people are just con men. Even I think there's some lady that palpitating that they are ladies, but in sh- in the real sense they aren't ladies. They are actually men or actually m- the girlfriend and the boyfriend are coercing people from these dating sites, ripping us people like us who are just blindly in these sites and trying to make new friends or new to new new, new, new people. They try and corner us. I know people will be bashing on me on comments and saying that why am I in this site? Why should I go? Why should I go and just meet somebody physically face to face? Ah, uh, it's kind of let's say preference. Maybe I don't have the time, or maybe I don't have the the show skill, and maybe I'm good on the computer, or maybe I'm just twenty four seven on the computer. So I usually just uh, looking for people to talk to. So yeah. I don't. I, okay, you can judge me for all I all, for all I care, but I'm just trying to warn you guys that there's people actually calling, even not 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 about, not only on dating sites, even in Facebook or even or let's even there's a time I remember when I was looking for new house in Gumo. Uh, it was kind of hectic because uh, I used to Google. Uh, I used to Google for ads, thinking I'll get a person I can talk to to give me some house. When I came to realize these guys are actually conning people on Google Ads saying that they have a house, they are reaching out to people and which is not even actually there, they just just uh, lying to people to, to in order to rip off people who are not new to this thing or new to this area called Nairobi. So apart from that, I'm gonna say that it, uh, it at first kind of felt sucking, but I, it, but when I tried to record and sit down, I'm like. Uh, losing like 500 bob and I've lost like actually much when I was dealing with buying stuff like from pe- like from people and whatnot uh, I am I'm like okay you know what uh, it is what it is so it was kind of sucking at first but I just suck- I just said you know what you lose some to get some so uh, it is a lesson, and I want uh, my, to my fellow viewers be 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 very very vigilant with which, which people share uh, personal information, especially do not be meekly being used emotionally because people some some people think like you are in there that's because you are you are emotionally deprived, so they they hunt on you and ask for money. And they say they'll do this and they won't do this, do that, they want the earth, you know, look at my promise. So please just uh, be cautious. I, do, I don't say you don't be on those sites. Those is actually keep, they, they, they keep out measures, privacy measures to, to warn you that do not uh, go meekly into those sites without, without knowing who you're talking to or, or, or whatever. So... Apart from anything else, I can say that I'm, I'm still hoping and praying that I'm gonna get a card probably next month. Oh, and furthermore, I'm I think I'm gonna move from Zuku 
to Safaricom Fiber because finally you're gonna get Safaricom Fiber in Gomo. It has been a, it has been a long journey and all, but I think finally, finally we can I can really move from Zuko because Zuko has been just ripping me off from my my monthly money that I paid them, and I don't like it. And I think Safaricom will be a very nice uh, big deal for me as from next month. I'll be I'll be even motivated to be co continue uploading more videos, saying that it'll take me only some few minutes to upload than actually using Zuku, lying to my face that I'm paying for five Mbps and I'm literally paying for one Mbps. It is not fair, and I've been bashing on them, even trolling on them on Twitter, but they, they keep on saying that it is my fault or the all the the servers providing that download the 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 program or the file or whatever. They are saying that it's their fault, not 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 Zuku's fault. So yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, another information I need to pass on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna first first of all I've talked about I've talked about the uh, the Naruto headband. If you want it, it's around five hundred ball. You go and look at uh, Naruto Taki shop, or I can or I can uh, give you the, uh, the website. You go and check them out. They have pretty much uh, good nice stuff. They have got from hoods, trinkets, uh, even mini ma money keys, like this figure, or aka okay, the figurines like uh, Pickle Rick, uh, Wakanda, I guess. I've seen like Wakanda, even Dragon Ball Z, they have them around for 2k. Uh, hoodies, shirts, uh, anything, that, anything that is related to anime, you can actually get from the website. And also, uh, I have talked about uh, con, con men and con women. On, the, on social media sites, especially especially dating sites, and also other platforms. Just be careful from people. Even even those even even in the inter, even apart from dating sites and and whatnot, there will be various kind of people just preying on on and on honest, hardworking people. Just because they are like, oh, these guys are just stupid. They want just they, let them let them teach them a lesson, rip them off, and blah blah. Okay. I uh, I cannot I cannot much blame on them, but I think some of them they just feel like they deserve that the like the the community must give them something or I don't know I just feel like they they think they are much better than other people so they feel like they want to rob people who actually worked hard for their money or or for your material pesa they don't even want to know so yes so people be be actually vigilant so much. People actually get conned, and it's not a very serious matter. And especially, you know, especially I'm talking about tech. Uh, it is very, very sad because in the in the rate we are going through, things are becoming so evolving and and so tech tech wise. It you need to secure your information and also people you are actually relating to. So uh, apart from that, I'm still grinding on. Rainbow Six Siege on the Crimea outbreak. I've got some few packs. They were given like four packs to the guys who just engaged the, on the event. So I got new skins and whatnot. Uh, so far, um, on this time I'm filming this, I'm getting another new operator. So I'll have like seven operators right now. Uh, probably on next week, around the next side, uh, on the next weekend, I'll be able to unlock another operator. So I'll have like eight. For defenders, for attackers. So that's it, guys, and thank you for keeping locked to my channel. Uh, apart from gaming and whatnot, I am very hopeful that maybe from next month I'll be uploading new. I'll be uploading gameplays and random moments, etc., uh, etc. Et but at the moment, I'm using what I have because even money to me is not something I can come back easily. And right now, because I'm starting begin, I'm starting my own life away from my parents, so I gotta be vigilant on how I use my money and how I spend my money on things. So that's that's it to, that's that's it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you had. A, I hope you're gonna have a fun fun weekend, and stay tuned to more of Papa John's game. Bye.